I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. <clears throat> I'm going to show how he's being a bully and how he's putting out false information. Since one of his viewers or subs, whatever you want to call him, has continually come on my channel saying that I'm attacking him because I gave my mods a choice if they want to drop their wrench so they could still view him. And we'll get to that. Now, yesterday, 5-12, he's saying that Cassandra and this transgender dude is the same person. Okay? Then, three hours later, he's saying that it's this missing person, Skylar Swoop. She could be in Quincy. Wow. Good researching. Now he's got Cocky's brown van killing Zach. Great. We know about Chester Mob. He picked a name out. You're funny. Because Cocky's not part of Chester Mobs set. Bernard Bradley was never even a suspect. Now, if you think Teresa had something to do with it, you got 24 hours to leave and find you a new group. So, let's see if his, what she calls, that she's his online girlfriend, if she's going to get the boot. Should be interesting. Especially because that was at 8.37. And an hour and a half later, somebody makes a post disrespecting the hell out of Teresa. So, let's see if 236 people get kicked out. Now, this is the post that I reposted, and I gave my mods the option of giving up their wrench so they could still watch his stuff if they choose to without getting any beef with anybody. And for that, they want to say that I'm coming at him. For the ones that can't see the community board, because I'm aware there are some people that can't view it, I said... PSA, except for Brenda and Jackie, who I already know where you stand. Since everybody may not have a way to contact me privately, this is what I'm going to do. I will take away all the wrenches, which I did. The people who wants to stay a wrench can tell me here. That way the ones who don't want to be removed don't have to say it publicly. Or ones that want to give it up because of him. For the ones that want to be added, I'll do it during the next live. Because as you see, he's being a bully, like a little child. Now, for the one right here, she says, why do y'all always come and portray, though? And for this other bozo here that says, stays coming for him. This was my reply. Trust and believe I go after anybody pushing false information about the case. So my turn. Why on earth do y'all believe him without fact-checking? What the fuck he says to y'all? I don't even have to go look at his stuff. It gets sent to me by the truckloads. Folks laughing and making jokes about all the newbies drinking the Kool-Aid and following his him like lost sheep. I followed many wrong opinions with the case. It only took a couple of times of feeling like an idiot for believing in folks like him that I started doing my own research. I mean, come, come on, the guy led, I mean, come on, the guy led, led right out the gate, lied right out the gate on the 24th, the same day that the other fake Jay Fricker came back into the scene 
By the way, she was the one that first made the first fake confession. Then Jack Dumb first says he got the comment from Franz. Then the next morning he switches it up to it being an email. Red flags. Now, if I may ask another question. Why do y'all believers in Jack Thumb movement still come watch channels like mine that are truly J for K? And then I thank them for asking in a respectful manner. This bozo wants to come back and says, as I stated, they stay coming for him. So I said, well, I was supposed to say how, not whole, but is this coming for him? He is the coward that posted it and then deleted it. I can show you coming I can show you coming for him and clowning if you'd like. That way you'll be an honest person. I'll make what you have you you say become the truth. And they said, Oh, so now I have.